What is the best tournament arc in anime and manga? This is a question as old as time itself, with nearly as many opinions as there are people to have them. But despite the popularity of the discourse, a few specific contenders seem to consistently rise from the molten ashes of the discussion to take the throne as the anime and manga community's most popular picks. Anna Boomers will sing the praises of Dragon Ball's first Tenkaichi Budokai arc, remarking upon it being the granddaddy of shonen tournament arcs, as well as identifying the charming characters and witty dialogue setting apart from the competition. Others will remark upon Naruto's tuning exam arc, yelling from the rooftops about the sick animation and the Gaara vs. Rock Lee battle and the heart-pounding jutsu reveals that left viewers in complete awe upon their first viewing. And those with even bigger brains give their primary accolades to Yu Yu Hakusho's dark tournament arc, remarking upon each fight's pacing with their detailed, creative, and well-thought-out climaxes, placing Yu Yu Hakusho starkly on the throne in the annals of anime and manga tournament arc history. And while all these examples do in fact represent some of the best tournament arcs in both written and animated mediums, there is one arc in manga that spread its wings and ascended from the flames of mediocrity, call out these legendary series, and power bomb them back into the battlefield so it can take its rightful place as most compelling tournament arc in the modern era. That series is none other than Rui Takato's Booty Royale and its Valkyrie Opera tournament arc. So Booty Royale began as an etchy slice of life manga where we follow our heroine Hayabaru Misora as she navigates the world of the adult film industry. As one might imagine, a number of hijinks ensue with this narrative setup, but despite the wackiness of the narrative, martial arts and beautiful women have always been the threads weaved together throughout Booty Royale to keep it grounded and consistent thematically. In the manga's fifth and sixth volumes, mangaka Rui Takato decides to take this premise to its natural conclusion and introduce Misora and the reader to the concept of the Battle of the Valkyries, a tournament run by a powerful entertainment industry vet who has gathered the world's most beautiful, powerful, and dangerous women together in one location in a mixed martial arts contest where only one woman can be left standing. Now if you're anything like me, you're honestly already completely sold on this premise on just concept alone. But I know some of you out there are for sure thinking, KJM, I get that you like boobies and butts, but fan service mixed with a couple of kicks and punches cannot make a manga contender for the greatest tournament arc in the medium when you're up against juggernauts like Dragon Ball and Yu Yu Hakusho. And as much as I would like to disagree with the imaginary viewer for being a total nerd, they are absolutely right. Fan service and occasional punches do not a good tournament arc make. But you know what does make for a good tournament arc? Well choreographed combat, battle scenarios written and directed competently enough where the outcome of the match leaves you guessing before and during the fight, interesting characters will develop histories that get the audience invested before the fight so they have a reason to care about what's happening on the page. These are the elements that make for a compelling tournament arc, and I'll be damned if Booty Royale does not hit the mark on each one of these requirements. All the anime and manga that wind up being my favorite series all contain one thing. Each of them has a sort of intangible quality of something special that sets them apart from the crowd. It's a sort of immeasurable factor that separates a good piece of art that you think highly of, but doesn't really leave a mark on you from those things that you find yourself thinking about randomly through the day and returning to again and again, year after year. Rui Takato has captured this philosopher's stone and booty royale to such a degree that I literally felt at times that this manga was specifically made for me. From the moment the tournament art opened, I knew I was going to be hooked. The arc begins with a brief panel quickly summarizing the fighters' backstories and fighting styles in the same aesthetic as those old pride fighting and K1 cars that were advertised during the late 90s and early 2000s. But besides Takato's impeccable aesthetic sensibilities, what really made me smile were the characters' designs of all the women participating in the tournament. I certainly know that anime and manga are not known for showcases of compelling, strong, and well-crafted depictions of women. And it would be easy for someone on the outside to overlook Booty Royale as just another fan service cash grab for incels. But that person would be doing themselves such a humongous disservice if they were to judge the book strictly by the cover. Misoda at this point has almost seven volumes to develop as a character, but outside of Misoda herself, all 31 women present in the Valkyrie Opera are presented as uniquely strong and beautiful in their own way. The women in the tournament range from all walks of life, representing different ethnicities, cultures, and ways of life, and individual motivations. Veronica Lynn is an American woman of Amazonian build looking to boisterously represent the sport of pro wrestling and bring a W home to the States. Maria Riviera, a personal favorite, is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu prodigy with an insatiable libido, looking to leave her mark on combat sports just as her legendary father before her. No Sakanagisa is a Japanese sumo practitioner who has a dream of practicing her art donning only a mawashi like the great athlete she admired in her youth. These three are just a brief glimpse into the world of the Valkyries. Somehow Takato has managed to make each of the 32 women compelling in their own right. And even the women who have not been given a significant backstory are visually interesting enough that it left me wondering more about the character and hoping for more side exposition about who they were and their motivations. If leaving your reader wanting to know more about your character that you created after only seeing them in two panels is not an example of solid design, I truly do not know how to make the case for what is. But what really sells the Valkyrie opera and Booty Royale for me is the choreography and pacing of the fights. I truly cannot believe how well directed and brutal some of these battles were. Takato pins each battle with such a sense of weight and brutality that honestly outdoes many big names shown in manga whose sole focus are its fights. The paneling is so well done and easy to follow that many of the fights made me feel like I was watching a movie. That's how easy it was to visualize.
visualize what was going on in each scene. Each of the women in the tournament is truly a force of nature, with one punch or kick being the potential end of a fight at any moment. Takato also uses visual metaphor in a captivating way, with certain scenes depicting the individual's opponent as a semi-truck to drive home the reality of the woman's size or power when squaring up against her in the ring. Another fight ends with the woman visualizing herself being killed by the opponent, with her entire neck being snapped and turned around the opposite direction, when in reality, the woman only held her in a submissive position for a brief moment before letting her go, showcasing the fighter's power and overwhelming mental dominance she had achieved during the climactic end of the match. Bones snap, limbs are dislocated, individuals are punched so hard they literally piss themselves mid-match. The Tournament of the Valkyries is a merciless affair, and nearly every turn of the page left me smiling, gasping, or wincing in pain from the outcome Takato managed to arrive at for that particular match. I have not felt such a strong sense of anticipation or excitement from reading a story for a genuinely long time, and the fact that these feelings were elicited in me by an edgy manga called Booty Royale and not one of the big names shonen or seinen behemoths that have been dropping like crazy over the past couple years both surprises me and makes me laugh pretty damn heartily. Add on top of all this is sincerely great character development and combat, heavy fan service with characters that look like OCs that would have been concocted from the deep primal recesses of my monkey brain, and you have a recipe for one of my favorite pieces of fiction ever. I know some of you are going to think I'm capping about how good this tournament arc is in Booty Royale, but if you give it an honest chance and read this thing, I promise you will come away with one of the most compelling tournament arc experiences you've had the pleasure to read in fiction. I will not lie, Booty Royale as a series is not for everyone. It can go some weird and frankly uncomfortable places at times, but for those with the stomach and the right sensibilities, you may inadvertently be stumbling upon one of your favorite new series of all time. So what I recommend is that you do some push-ups, grab your gloves, and start reading Booty Royale's Tournament of the Valkyries. It's a tournament arc you're not going to want to miss.